Hey guys, I'm here to do a new book review and it is on As You Wish by Jackson Pierce and this is actually her debut novel back in 2009 and I'm just getting to it now because I'm slow like that and it's crazy. I'm crazy. Let's get on with this review. I'm sure you're very anxious to know what I rate this book gonna be controversial people. I'm kidding. We're gonna go over synopsis of course you know the drill synopsis. We're gonna go over plot and theme. Especially theme because I think it's very important. So we're gonna go over characters and then I'm gonna give you my overall rating for this book. So let's go over the synopsis. Our main character is Viola. So it's been seven months since Viola has broken up with Lawrence, her best friend. She finds out that he does not like other girls and she feels empty. She doesn't feel complete. She doesn't feel whole and she feels quite invisible. After breaking up with Lawrence and having this really deep desire to belong somewhere, she summons a djinn, which is a genie. And Jin is there to grant her three wishes. Viola feels some hesitation because she doesn't feel like she can just wish just any random wish. She has to think about it. Jin is itching to go back to where he came from which is Caliban where all of these Jin reside and every second, every minute, every hour, every day that the Jin are earthbound to grant these humans their wishes, they age. And so Jin is really itching to go back to Caliban, really wanting Viola to make these wishes so he can get back home. And so there are conflicting interests going on. But of course, being a paranormal romance, we see a relationship happening between Jin and Viola. And so that's basically the synopsis of the book. So let's talk about the plot and the theme. Ah, ah. Overall, I was kind of confused and I felt there were backwardness going on in the book. Okay, so let's talk about theme first. So what I got from the book, what the overall theme was, is finding out where you belong, what makes you whole, what makes you complete. And for me, in the beginning of the book, I think Viola knew on some level that being whole, being complete, couldn't be found in another person, that it was really within herself to discover where she would belong. So I thought the overall message was realized in the beginning of the book. And I thought as the plot went forward, you're getting further away from the overall message from the book. For me, that was kind of weird and confusing. So that kind of segues into the characters and when I want to talk about the characters. Let's talk about Viola. She felt very depressed about the whole situation and she just wanted to belong. I think for the most part a lot of teenagers can relate to this. In that aspect she's relatable and what kind of threw me off about Viola's character was her development. I thought on some level she knew being happy and her being complete and whole wasn't in another person that it was really in herself to begin with. As the story progressed she was kind of getting further away from that message. And I kind of realized she needed to go through what she went through to realize herself that she didn't need that. But in the end, she kind of contradicted herself. So let's talk about Jin, the genie. He is our romantic love interest in the book. Jin, he is great. He is very funny and sarcastic. And at the beginning of the book, he was quite vain. He was very concerned about aging. But I really liked his character development. I think he developed well as the story progressed. He is your typical romanticized, paranormal love interest. So I really enjoyed reading Jin's perspective. And let's talk about Lawrence, who is Viola's best friend. Lawrence is really cool. He's a very good friend, very funny. You can count on him and he is a really great character and I enjoyed his character a whole lot. I wanted to mention technical aspects of the book that I would kind of throw out there. I thought there were instances in the book that felt kind of far-fetched even though I realized that it is a paranormal romance. I believe that really this is the first time this situation has ever occurred between a genie and a human and I'm thinking these genies have been around since forever and apparently this instance, this relationship never happened before. And so that aspect was a bit far-fetched, was kind of weird also. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm going to give As You Wish by Jackson Pierce. Unfortunately, an unreadable. I couldn't really connect with Viola in how she was feeling. I had this really disconnection 
with the character and I couldn't really empathize with her on that front. So it was a miss for me but hopefully for someone out there it'll be a hit. Overall I thought the book was okay. I really liked the beginning and I really liked the end. The middle was confusing and I thought was contradictory and I was kind of confused and how things were developing. So yeah. So this was unfortunate. I don't know what's with me and paranormal romances. They just haven't been clicking for me. But yeah. Talk to you guys later. I am um, sad. Yeah, I'm kind of sad. Let me know if you've read the book. Let me know your thoughts. Am I being crazy? Am I missing something here? Because I think I'm missing something. Ugh. So I'll talk to you guys later.